Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery with me, Matthew Smith. In this video we'll be seeing our awesome trip to Cyprus for the day, to Papos, and then from there getting a group tour down to Limassol, stopping at some sites on the way, some historic sites indeed. All that coming up and more. For well, now let's hear some facts about Cyprus, some hopefully you don't know, and I'll get back to you at the end with some costume details. So let's get started shall we and hear some facts about this fascinating country. Cyprus, officially known as the Republic of Cyprus, is an island country in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. It lies east of Greece, north of Egypt, south of Turkey and west of Lebanon and Syria. It is geographically part of West Asia, but its cultural ties and geopolitics are overwhelmingly Southeast European. Cyprus is the third largest island in the Mediterranean, attracting 2.4 million tourists per year. Archaeological evidence suggests Cyprus has been inhabited for around 12,000 years, with the first known settlement at the UNESCO-listed site of Kuralkita dating to around 9,000 years ago. There are more cats than people in Cyprus, with estimates suggesting there are up to 1.5 million stray cats. In fact, the remains of the oldest known pet cat were found in Cyprus. In 2004, a complete cat skeleton was unearthed next to a 9,500 year old human burial, suggesting that the cat was domesticated. Cyprus has some of the cleanest water in Europe. In 2021, it ranked top of the 27 countries of the European Union for having the cleanest swimming waters. This island country is divided into two parts. Cyprus has been divided since 1974 after Turkey invaded the north following a Greece-backed military coup. The northern part is called the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus while the southern part is called the Independent Republic of Cyprus or the Greek Cyprus. The capital city of Cyprus, Nicosia, is divided by the Green Line. This line is also known as the United Nations Buffer Zone. It is the only capital in the world that is divided between two nations, the Republic of Cyprus and the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. The historic city lined with beautiful landmarks has a border zone at the point of division. The wall is a symbol of crisis that separates the two nations. With a very low crime rate, Cyprus is also among the safest places in the world. Cyprus is the only foreign venue at which an English royal wedding has been hosted. The wedding happened between King Richard and Queen Joanna on 12th of May 1191. The Ottomans ruled Cyprus for over 300 years until Britain occupied the island in 1878. However, it was not officially annexed by the UK until 1914. Cyprus became independent from the British in 1960 on August the 16th. However, they celebrate their Independence Day on the 1st of October every year. Taxi drivers in Cyprus do not give change. They keep the change as a tip. So a quick tip to save money in Cyprus is to give a sat change to the taxi driver. Some of the world's oldest water wells can be found in Cyprus. The Stone Age wells that were discovered in Kisonurga, Papos have been studied and it is suggested that they have been around for about 10,500 years. Legend has it that the Greek goddess of love Aphrodite was born in Cyprus. Aphrodite is said to have emerged from a rock at Lachi, now known as Aphrodite Beach. As the ocean rays crush over this rock, they form pillars of foam that resemble the goddess of love. There is a tree in Cyprus known to fulfil wishes. This tree at the entrance to the Christian catacombs in Papos is filled with handkerchiefs and ribbons. People believe that infertile women will bear children and people will return to their loved ones when something that belonged to them is tied to the tree, along with a belief that good will happen. 
The world oldest wine label belongs to Cyprus. Yep, you heard it right. Komandaria is recognised as the world's oldest named wine, dating back 5,000 years. I'm going to a destination discovery. I'll be travelling today to Cyprus, uh, Paphos, which is the capital of uh, Cyprus. Um, I'm not going, well, I'm not in the UK currently, I'm currently in Bulgaria, Sofia. And uh, if you missed my video, uh, check out last week's uh, because this was all about Sofia. Uh, the, I'm now flying at 10.25 this evening all the way to Cyprus. Uh, to, cap to stay in the hotel and then going to explore in Cyprus for just one day uh, and I'm taking you with me. I get into Cyprus tonight at half past midnight, go straight to the hotel and then I've only got about a five, six hours sleep until my day starts in Cyprus. Um, I'll be taking a tour, so a coach uh, down the coast. Uh, we're going to with some monuments on the way and some famous places. Can't wait to share that all with you. And then at the end, time to explore Paphos itself. Uh, for now, let's get my flight. Hello guys and a very good morning. Uh, today I'll be going on a group tour uh, visiting different uh, sites uh, around this part of Cyprus. Uh, so I'll be visiting sites including the ancient town of Corian, uh, Colesi Castle, Umisil Castle, a marina and the Rock of Aphrodite. Uh, I can't wait to share all that with you later on. Um, and yeah, let's get going to the stop where I'll be meeting the coach. See you later. Guys, so I'm now standing in the ancient town of Kyolion, uh, which is a town that was uh, destroyed completely during the 4th century AD, which has been excavated uh, for a visitor attraction today. So let's have a look around.
guys from the uh, archaeological site of Limassol Castle. I'm currently at the top of the castle, as you can see. I'll come over here just behind me, got the last view over there. And um, let's see what this place has over. We've got about half an hour here to explore. I'll get back to you later on. I've made it to Limassol. Um, we've got two and a half hours here to explore, have fun, explore the Limassol castle, etc. Um, <clears throat> I won't be able to show you the whole of Limassol, nor will I be able to get around the whole of Limassol. The whole city is actually 11 kilometres long. That's right, 11 kilometres the whole entire length of the city. It's quite a large city, as you can see there. So I won't be able to show you it all, uh, but I can show you the old town which I'll be going through. Um, it's at the castle. And other parts like the marina, um, you know, so let's explore for two and a half hours.
back uh, to Pathos, we have made this top at the book of Aphrodite. This was where the goddess of Aphrodite was born. And let's see what this has to offer. Hello guys, so it's time now to train pass for just walked back in Pathos from our little uh, coach tour. Uh, that's where we started at half eight this morning. So I spent all day as you have seen. So now I'm back in Pathos. Uh, let's see what this city has to offer. I've got about an hour here before going back to the airport. So let's see how much this epic trip costed me. Let's start with the taxi from Papos Airport to my hotel, which costed me £30.05 or €35. Euros. This was booked through Bolt. The Amphora Hotel costed me £67.22 or €78.30. Euros. The whole day tour from Papos, booked through Get Your Guide, came to only £22.21 and pence, or €25.87. There were two sites in the tour which were not included with the price, the first of which was Colossi Castle, which came to £2.15 or €2.50. The second is Limassol Castle, which costed me £3.86 or €4.50. The public bus from Papos Centre to the airport costed me £1.72 or €2. The food and drink whilst in Cyprus came to £51.19 or €59.63. The British Airways flight from Papos to London Gatwick, booked for a company called Alternative Airlines, came to £129.67 or €151.04. Euros. And so, the grand total of this trip came to £308.07 or €358.84. Euros. So all in all, it was a quite expensive trip considering it was just for a day and a bit of a night. Uh, Papos um, and shall I say, the whole of Cyprus is an expensive country anyhow. Uh, so if you do come here, you do need to uh, bring quite a lot of spending money with you. But overall, I did enjoy my visit. So that's it for this video. Until next time, good night.